find some of the microscopic <clears throat> little lines that Jim might one day have on his face. See, taking care of the actor, make it feel nurtured. <laughs> I'm going to start with something not too dark, but that'll just help on a very fine brush. And I'm not going to I'm not going to do, if I find a line, I'm not going to do the whole line. I'm going to sort of just try to um, enhance the depth here and there. A solid line will look like a solid line, look like something drawn on their face. So it's a matter of just finding those little places and maybe even kind of fake some at first. Done! I'm Next old! Video. Look how old I am! I get retirement checks now! Yes. I think it's also with um, the advent of like HD video. You have to kind of be that much more subtle with things. Because it will show up. It'll be show up as being very bold. And make sure you've got a good DP. Be be nice to your DP, and they'll be nice to you. Hopefully. Not always the case. You know, some people have uh, quirks, but make them your friend if you can. Because I've, I've, you want to be in a good relationship with him so that he will say, come look through my lens. See and that your makeup is looking the way you want it to look. And you also want your DP to point it out. If you see something that he thinks isn't looking right, he should feel safe enough with you to come and say, hey, is this the way you want it or should this be fixed? Right now I'm just using a natural two skin illustrator color just to kind of uh, landmark the, the parts of him that are going to show some age. I had once done a uh, age makeup, <clears throat> and it was for an actor to see if uh, for the director wanted this specific actor. They didn't think he was old enough, so they wanted to see if he could play older. So I did this makeup on him. We went and did this uh, audition for him, and um, I was really happy with that. Even though I had some generic age pieces and. I, uh, Everybody's happy. I'm happy. Director's happy. Actor's happy. And we go and we put them down on in front of an HD camera and looked at the monitor and it was like a monster. It was horrible. It was like, I, I, I didn't know what to do. It was my first experience of that kind of thing. And I thought, oh my God, uh, this looks horrible and I don't know how to adjust it. Hmm. And, um, and I told the DP, I said, you know, this, I don't know what to do here. And he goes, oh, don't worry. Let me just work with the lights. And by the time he was done, it looked great again. So it really kind of showed me what um, an HD camera can do bad and what a good DP can, DP can do that's good to make it uh, work again. I'm going to do a wider area. I'll use a wider brush.
I'm going to use some uh, use this same color at first anyway to find hopefully it'll subtly work out some um, wider uh, shadow areas. I'm going to find these um, the sort of depth, the deep parts of the anatomy to create more intense shadows. So the temple areas are good to find some depth and help kind of and end under the cheekbone. Try and um, make that ocular ridge a little more pronounced. I think I'm going to uh, switch over and find some highlights now. <laughs> 